So I wake up to my uncle chainsawing a tree in my backyard. I'm gonna go help out. I went outside because I saw my uncle was working on cutting down a tree in my backyard and I uh, figured I should probably go out and if nothing else, at least supervise a little bit. So here's the situation. We came out here and uh, I don't know if I got it on film, but uh, this tree right here was once about that much taller and uh, then there was also a bit of tree, I think from the same tree that had fallen back here onto a power line. We tried to get the company, uh, the phone company, phone line company to uh, come out and remove it, but uh, they didn't, so we ended up just having to do it ourselves. So I woke up this morning hearing a chainsaw, I was like, what is going on? But I didn't think that it would be outside of my door, so or outside of my window, so I just was going to wait on it. But I uh, looked out and saw my uncle, and I thought, well, I should probably be, be out there for, uh, for some supervision, if nothing else. So anyway, got that done, which is nice, because that is something that has been up in our yard for uh, uh, probably like two years. Just without anything on it, just sitting there. So uh, good that my uncle could have come over and help us. It's much appreciated. Alrighty, well I've watched quite a few YouTube videos this morning and it is now time to edit. Well, while the video is exporting, I'm going to be going out and moving all those logs. Let's go. Alrighty, I am embracing my feminine side with a bit of pink glove action because there might be some poison ivy in the area and I'd rather not risk it and end up getting the itchies. quite know where to put it all yet. I just moved that. I was. I do know where to put this stuff. Gloves do a lot in protecting you from the elements when you got a hole in your finger. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna text my mom and see where she wants those logs. Alrighty, well I got in touch with my mom. She told me to just stack up the logs anywhere. So I'm going to go stack them. Right there. I think. I switch gloves because they're more rubbery. Maybe they'll tear a little bit less. Stacked, done. So there is where the tree used to be, right there. 
There was a tree back in here. This is where the tree fell. It's a little bit messy, but not too bad. And uh, there are all the there are all the logs. Oh my gosh, I forgot I zoomed in. Whew. It is hot. I'm sweating a little bit. Gonna take a shower. Then going to undo my shower by going to the gym. It is now about 3.40 and I've just been kind of chilling out, hanging out, relaxing. And I am now packing up everything for the Indy 500. Because I'm going to be spending the night at my dad's tonight to leave bright and early uh, for that. Also, I'm going to try and hit the gym today before going to my dad's. Uh, I'm going to try and get Brandon to go to the gym with me. And then I don't know if I'm going to be going out and hanging out with them at all tonight. But it's going to be an early morning no matter what. So i got to keep that in mind with my decision making. All right, dogs are away. I've got my bag. It's time to head into Fort Wayne. I'm trying to get Brandon to go to the gym with me and he's very reluctant. I'm heading over to his house now to pretty much tell him we're going. Alrighty, well guess who's going to the gym by themselves? This guy. Brandon would not go. So anyway, I'm heading into the gym. I will be right back. Out of the gym, calling my dad. See if he picks up. Hey. Do we in, so do we have the tickets? You got them in the mail? All right, good. Going into uh, Brandon's house now. I'm uh, going to be hanging out with him and Eric and talking with his family. Super good. Smoke the marriage of with him. <laughs> oh, no! Well, we're gonna go get some food, right, Eric? Right. <laughs> right. Where are we eating? I have no idea. Yeah, it is perfect. You can see me. You can see Eric. Let's turn it a little bit this way so we don't have to see you. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, was no. that was that weird? Seeing through a camera? No? Uh. Maybe? My arms, my arms are noodly. It is Chipotle time. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo. Chipotle was good. I ate mine, and oh no, oh no, <laughs> and Brandon's. Well, at least part of Brandon's. Got done walking around, and it is now Jane Fonda time. I know you want to do the Jane Fonda. I'm leaving. <laughs> nope, probably won't <clears throat> until the cruise. Yeah! Okay, bye. It's gonna be hot. Alrighty, well, it is about 9.20. I'm gonna be up, getting up at four and we're leaving at five because we normally leave at seven and it supposedly will take about two hours longer this year since it's the 100th year running anniversary, 100th running, uh, it's the 100th anniversary of the uh, Indy 500 and so a lot of people are gonna be there and thus I need to be leaving a little bit earlier and I'm gonna be extremely tired, but I'm gonna to have to get to bed a little bit early tonight. Gonna to have to end this relatively soon. That is such a gorgeous sky. Jeez. Alrighty, well it is time to get the get the chicken going. It is tradition that we have some KFC chicken at the race. 
So we're going to get that all packaged up so that we have uh, chicken. Have chicken tomorrow. Anything to add? Blueberry muffins for breakfast. Blueberry and muffins for breakfast and bananas. It's going to be a good day. So it's like 10:30, and we have got to be up at. Well, change of plans because we're going to be up at five, right? Five. Well, I'm going to get up at five because we're leaving at six. Instead of being up at four, we'll leave at five. You think that'll work? I think so. So that means that I will be getting up in six hours. Getting up in six hours and I still have to edit. So I probably will get maybe five hours of sleep tonight. So my dad tells me that I have to try this cider. So thus, we're taking the cage off the metal part. This is called the uh, Lebrun Brut Cidra de Bretagne. So this is from the west coast, northwest coast of France. We'll see what happens here. A lot of pressure in here. Got a twist. Hold it at a 45 degree angle and feel it start to go. Is it gonna? Oh, oh! <laughs> it is 11 o'clock. I've got to get on editing, so I'm going to end this here. Got the Indy 500 tomorrow. I'm going to be waking up really early to get going to that. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Brandon, open up your mouth. <laughs> Let's go, Eric. He's getting weird. I do know where to put this stuff. <laughs>